I, I mean, I, ju I just dropped. Right. Going on in there. Are we doubled up? Whew. Walking out of the office. What's up, Buck? You guys might not be able to see the Hunter's Life cat. I'm starting this video now. And here's why. I'm trying to show you guys the dedication to the fishing game that we got. It is currently 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern time here in the uh, great north woods of Michigan. And we got some we got some boys coming up from the great southland of Michigan. Trollville, only Michiganders will get that. Um, I've been up since six, had a bunch of school baloney to do. They all had to work this morning, came up after work, left like four or five o'clock, hit snowstorms on the way. They're driving straight up here. They're gonna be here at midnight 30. And then we're driving, we're packing everything up. We're driving an hour and a half north to the Copper Country. Get there about probably, God, math is not my thing right now. Two, three o'clock in the morning, something like that. We're hitting the ice. We're gonna fish all morning sun up sun down and pass get that night bourbon bite maybe some whiteies drive back and then unless we kill it if we kill it in this video you won't see any open water bubbler fishing for for salmon and trouts but uh i'm sitting here it's 11 o'clock at night i'm making coffee i'm filling up a half gallon Yeti, a coffee, probably not going to be enough, but uh, biggest container I got. Shout out to Yeti. Yeah, let's go with the adventure. All right, so I got about an hour and a half to get everything together. But first of all, guys, of course the shrink wrap covers it. You can see the half of the Hunter's Life bars there. Uh, Usually the first thing I do is cut the shrink wrap off, but supposedly we're supposed to get like two feet of snow at some point this weekend. So uh, this is about the only cover we got. I should have honestly been a weatherman because uh, I'm wrong a lot and a lot of people call me out on it. Probably lose support, lose followers for it. I swear to God, a weatherman is the only job you can be wrong all the time and keep a job. Just my thoughts, but uh, let's go into the ice. <laughs> multi-million dollar ice fish in storage unit here. Three hundred dollar custom trailer. Packed. I mean I honestly well, bush case. You guys already know that. Taking the one manner and our pop up. Ooh some tip ups maybe. Bunch of duck decoys in the back. Do we need those? I wish. We'll, we'll get it all together. Uh keep you updated on this here uh adventure. Quick uh quick tip here for you guys we got the generator you probably can't see but you can hear here making sure that runs has a run for uh, summer that's so we get charged with drone making uh making sure yeah, this might help making sure the old the old arctic girl i mean fires right off i love this thing it's an l3 and uh she was taken care of she's going to be taken care of but you're going on big excursions you got to make sure you're uh your equipment's gonna gonna hack the travel and uh, I think we're okay. Update on uh Hunter for Life Crazy Adventures. You might not be able to hear me. It's a windy mofo out here about 12:30 in the morning. Boys are just down the road about to roll up and head it out. Going to kill some fish hopefully. Here we go boys just pulled up it is game time sleeps for dead people it's all about hunting fishing making the world a better place oh yeah good one. oh yeah good fish you need a gas i don't know my reel's being weird finally found me a fish that's pretty neat andy yeah you need to get out here oh that's not good i got you. Real. I still, my real is still getting weird. This is a white, big old whitey, I think. Came in a flock. I, I apologize for giving you crap for taking so long to reel in. 
the last time. <laughs> scoop, Andy? Yeah. So Whitey is doing the same thing that other one did. Unless you pump on him a little bit, and then he takes line. I don't think I'm, uh, my reel's being... Not getting line. Oh, I am. High quality $50 combo I got right here. You can look, I, I mean I look, but I am blind so I didn't see it, but I didn't see it in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pumping. That's what we like. Are you filming? Yeah. Well we got Ryan back out here up in the Q&A. We got a new friend Andy out here. I'm really proud of Ryan. He hasn't used the F word once since I started recording the camera so far. So uh, he's making he's making moves out here. Been fishing since three o'clock this morning. Haven't slept since, or haven't been to sleep since six a.m. yesterday morning. In that deliriously energetic stage right now, and this is obviously this is obviously helping. It's a nice fish. This is probably my biggest white fish ever. If it is a white fish. Whitey, it's probably a big old brown, seven pound brown. 17. 17 pound brown? On your everything else rod? On my, on my shark rod. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're out here targeting big fish, the best way to go is a 28 inch medium light bluegill rod. Throw your, uh, the cheapest six pound mono you can find, preferably at your local Walmart, with, as you guys already know, the best ice fishing we've ever created, the Haley Jig. You saw him? Yeah. He looked at your ugly mug and said, I'm getting the heck out of here. Don't pull a brad. <laughs> right, in the lake right now. I think that was a good hit. I'm like, oh my god, I'm on. The other two were just like, I, I mean, I just, I just dropped. You going on in there? Are we doubled up? Oh my god, are we hooked in the same one right now? Don't worry, I got it, Ryan. <laughs> I think we might have the same one. Yeah, get that, if it's a hope. Boys! 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 That's a nice coho. Ryan, I need identification. Is this a hoe? This is a giant coho, dude. Is that a coho? Or is that a king? Coho. That might be the biggest coho I've ever seen out of the lake here. Pretty convinced this is a king. Rip me apart in the comments if I'm wrong, but. What color is its mouth? Black. I don't know how I landed that fish, Ryan. I literally pulled his head out of the hole with the bait, and I reached down and I grabbed his tail and I threw him out of the hole. I heard that's the way you're, I heard that's the way you're supposed to do it. I just missed a fish like five times in a row. Ryan just caught a little white fish. This is probably a little white fish. It's not that big, Ryan. No, I got him. A cute little whitey. These are perfect pike bait, dude. 
know. It's big enough to catch a 900 inch pike. everybody uh once again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed that video we're starting to uh to play around with some audio music type stuff now that we learn how to find music that's not copyrighted and isn't going to get us banned from monetizing youtube videos um pretty pretty slow day uh pretty crazy day as you saw right at the end before i started rambling the water going up and down the hole that's because it was so windy there were giant waves out on the big lake coming in and uh pushing the water up and down in the hole so that was kind of uh gnarly but not gonna ramble on really at all thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that video we're gonna have some better ones coming out finally had a chance to bring the drone out plan to do it when we shot this video but uh mother nature was not cooperating and the day after this video we didn't catch any fish white out blizzard got the truck stuck after helping somebody get their car and stuck not sure what we deserve to uh or we did to deserve that one but uh about really all i got to say on this topic Thumbs up the video, thumbs down the video, whatever you're feeling. If you haven't already, I know all you guys already have. Smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment. We love talking with you. And as always, everybody, happy id.